Does it bother you? That I'm not completely human? You are the most human person I have ever met. Hello, Steve. Hey. <laughs> we even played basketball in here. <laughs> you could. Mike Cousins. Hey. Animation supervisor. Nick Epstein, oh, hey, visual Nick. effects supervisor. Um, How are we guys? Good. good thank How are you, you today? Excited. This nice. is amazing. Cool. Yeah. So, like Nick showed you in the presentation last night, there were a lot of um, live action big sets uh, in Austin, Texas, where a lot of the film was shot. Um, in those sets, we do a lot of performance capture um, with a similar setup, but on, uh, on location. Okay. Uh, we also, when we have big digital sets, we will do we'll take a space like this and build up a representation of that digital digital set so that actors have somewhere to interact in. Mm -hmm. Today we're focusing on the virtual camera production side of it, which happens after we've got performance in the can. And I'll show you what that's going to look like. So in in this space you'll see, you know, there's 80 cameras on the ceiling and surrounding you and they're bouncing infrared light that bounces off the markers on a performer in a okay. suit. This suit, you could be wearing this suit. Um, but I don't think that it'd fit me, that yeah, suit, yeah, but well, I we'll, take your meaning. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll show you what the, so we've got performance in the can from, uh, from the actual film, yep. and Rosa would wear the set, uh, or the suit every day, and um, okay. we would uh, basically, with the light bouncing off of it, we can figure out her motion so as she these, moves through so space, these, these little markers, these. yeah. So that's all the, her different joints on her body, is that's it? That's right, and oh. that drives a skeleton inside a digital model, and oh, wow. you're essentially puppet. She's puppeteering that okay. live. She's also wearing this another flattering device, <laughs> which is our face camera. I'm gonna wrench it off his head. Wow. I don't know if this is gonna. My head's gonna. It's like yeah, for it's a, definitely a tiny. My head. Yeah. So <laughs> what it does is gives you a very. Uh, oh, so you can see the live feed out of there, right? Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. And so you get you you get markers okay. on your face every morning, and with the dual face camera, like Nick was showing you last night, um, we can understand depth information yep. and get a very uh, uh, solid idea of what the behavior of the face is wow. like. Um, so you've got the body covered and the face covered with that. Yeah. It's markers all on the face. How many dots have to be on the face to... There's probably like 40. Yeah, no, it depends right. on that. We've got a couple different setups that and we use. And each day the actor has to come in and you've got that, to put them that. all in the, exactly the right place. Yeah, pretty much. There's uh, two bits of motion that we're looking at today. One with Rosa running and jumping over Gruishka, played by wow. Jackie Earl Haley. Um, Rosa's uh, Alita here. And um, once this is done and in the can, Robert can that day or two weeks or two months later uh -huh. uh, uh, put camera angles on it. And uh -huh. that's what we're going to look at today. Because right. the, the actually putting the cameras on things is, is an important part of the storytelling. Your, um, your angles define um, status and mm -hmm. um, the, you know, the storytelling, the reveals, like Nick was showing last mm -hmm. night. Yeah. Um, so this over here is our virtual camera. So with that action playing, if you imagine this space as a, as a set, yep. I, can, I can move the camera around and, and cover that action as I, as I play it back. So we can find different angles and take, get, get takes off uh -huh. this, send them back to Robert where he'll edit all that stuff together or wow. Robert will do it and edit it himself. Mm -hmm. and is it heavy? Yeah, you have, have a, have a oh, little play and you can yeah, I mean, the best, the best thing to do is really just start exploring the space, oh, okay. see how sensitive it is. Oh, so and we can actually right, tune right. this as well, so if you want to move a little bit faster or slower, okay. uh, we can do that. I can go through some oh, of the wow. controls yeah. here for you as well. <laughs> so I can sort of move with it now? Yep, okay. she, will, she will eventually... Oh, so yeah, I'm over her shoulder yeah, and I can... Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. And there she is. Yeah, yep. great. So that... <clears throat> Like what you're essentially doing there is a steady cam with a tilt up at the end, you know, wow. like a little bit of a boom. But you, as you follow her um, on a live action set, you know, you'd, you'd have a, a guy in a steady cam suit running along uh -huh. behind. But again, you can get these angles quite quickly uh, and, and, and provide a whole bunch of coverage. 
Uh, could you th could you think you know that was we just need to maybe yep. twist it around here or do so can totally you do that, do that. In, in the I system? I can totally do that in instead the of system. having to shoot it yeah, again. Yeah, you can yeah. manipulate it. I can manipulate that. I can ma manipulate these characters. So sometimes these come in rough and they're sketches. You uh -huh. know, uh, sometimes we get like still frames and and it's like give me a shot like this, yeah. but d do the camera and we'll use uh -huh. the virtual cam. It just depends what the. Uh, sort of the challenges that we're trying mm -hmm. to tackle and what tools we bring to it. I think there's a variety of mm. ways to achieve that. But yes, all this stuff is editable and manipulatable. So this is our Gruishka. What we've done is we've set him up for you. This is, this is not the software that we use for the appearance generation ourselves, but yes. in order to give you an experience that's uh, a bit more uh, easy to work with yeah. and um, quicker to, to display the changes we're, we're using this setup. So we've given you a few things that are a bit more constrained than we, you know, we, <laughs> we, we can move our cameras however we want, we can change the lights however we want, but we've, we've constrained you to three different um, camera angles and two different light rigs. So you can see the same materials under two different light settings. Okay. That's part of what we're discussing, how, how okay. materials oh, might look very different yep. just purely by the lighting the uh -huh. context that they're in. Yep. And then what we've done is we have generated 12 or 13 completely different materials that yep. you can apply to oh. whatever area that you'd like. Okay. And so this is where the kind of compositional aspect of this experience comes in because you get to play with the existing building blocks and just bring them in and then dial them uh, okay. to your liking from there. So what I'll do is I'll just reset this to the default state which is the hero movie state and now you can go for gold and okay. adjust all these areas so do what you so and all these are the different parts of so, so there's core internals armor, armor arm arms leg. and armor legs yeah. and so for each one you can uh, set up a Head. specific material um, right. uh, Jeez, a lot of choices I'm, I'm glad I'm <laughs> glad you see that before you yes so the core that so that's the okay, yes right. at any point you can hit the look at this only and that shows you uh, what you're actually addressing. Right. So now you can select a uh, different material from the drop down. If you select okay. the little um, arrow here, yeah. pick whatever you'd like. Okay. And, okay, so now you've got this kind of cool metal. And yeah. you turn, look at this only off, and that's uh, retained. So now he's got yeah, this like cool that. metal on the chest. Okay. And so now I've got, I can weather it if I want and to. And you can distress it, weather it, roughen it. And so this might start oh, getting a bit oily and worn, you know, yeah, like, I, know. I don't know, old engine parts. So this is, so the, the, the me just clicking the mouse and getting that effect is the result of all those hours of l looking at all the different materials you saw in the real world. Yes. And yeah. then at, the, at a mouse click, that's applied. Yes. Wow. Yes. So you've done all the heavy lifting, I just click the mouse button. Exactly. You know, as humans, we're, we, the, there's a lot of um, things that we're aware of, even subconsciously, that... Um, when they're missing out of a visual effect shot, be it a character or an environment, or um, uh, it, it feels uh, like you, you're aware of it. And mm -hmm. so I think one of the things that we do chase here in order to uh, retain believability in any shot, and again, in order to, so that the audience isn't focusing on a visual effects shot, but mm -hmm. is... Uh, forgetting that it's a visual effect shot and drawn into the storytelling is that attention to detail. Yeah. So it's kind of the thing, isn't it? If the audience doesn't notice it, you've done your job. Yes, I think so. I yeah. think, I think, and 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 on this film in particular, that was true. Uh, on on the end result, mm -hmm. a, a, as much as we possibly can get um, the mm -hmm. audience uh, drawn into the storytelling, um, we're 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 achieving our goal and. Also, for the on-set experience for Robert, I, th I think that a big part of the work that we did on set for this film was to make sure that the visual effects footprint uh, wasn't a distraction. And mm -hmm. that there's always that danger that like when you're working on set on a live action shoot, in order to get the pieces that you need to get a visual effect shots, there's like people that are potentially um, uh, slowing the process down or you, you, you just the the work that was done on set for this film uh, was uh, they were very switched on and in a way uh, that 
footprint on set became invisible and Robert could really focus on the actor's performances yeah. and the shots he wanted without, again, you know, uh, having to worry about whether the visual shot, the visual effects shot would work.